What's going on guys? I'm back with another video and today I'm going to be doing a complete rundown of installing the Multi Quiet Player mod version 2.1. So the first thing to note about version 2.1 is that it has completely migrated over to Snakebite, so you will need Snakebite to install this. So if you haven't already, you're going to want to head over to Nexus and grab Snakebite from there. You're going to want at least version 0.8.5. Version 0.8.6 is coming out soon, so it might be out by the time uh, you do this, but as long as you have 0.8.5 or later, you should be good. So as soon as you've got Snakebite installed, you can install the animations and abilities, the icon replacer, the text replacer, and the voice replacer. Start up Snakebite, click on the Mods button, and then click Install.mgsv. Then you just have to navigate to wherever you've got the MultiQuiet Player mod, and just double click on one of the MGSV files to install it. Once you've got all of the included Snakebite files installed that you want, then we can move on to the last step. Last step is installing Quiet and her outfits. So to do this, you're going to want to go inside the MQPM tool folder and start up the MQPM tool. The MQPM tool gives you a bunch of options for Quiet and her outfits. It lets you choose which character you want to install Quiet over, which of the player's outfits that you want to replace, which outfit you want Quiet to appear in, and which head Quiet will have. It also has an option for invisible or visible hip weapons, but currently there are no visible hip weapons with the MultiQuiet Player mod. Using the tool is very simple. First, you want to click the ellipses beside the Output Folder text box to choose an output folder. You'll want to make a new empty folder for this. I'm going to call mine MQPM. The next thing you'll want to do is choose which character you want to replace. You can replace multiple characters at the same time, but for this I'm just going to replace Snake. Next you're going to want to choose which of the player's outfits you want to replace with Quiet. I'm going to choose the sneaking suit. For Quiet's outfit, I'm going to pick Sniper Wolf, and for her head, I'm just going to use the default head. I'm going to hit Process, and it's done. My outfit has been output. You can select multiple outfits at the same time, and you can actually replace every single one of the player's outfits if you want to. I'm also going to replace the standard fatigues. This time, I'm going to choose Mother Base with the blonde hospital head. Once you've finished outputting all of your outfits, we can close the MQPM tool and finish up by making our snakebite file. So you're going to want to search your computer for makebite. Makebite comes included with snakebite, so when you install snakebite, you also install makebite. Start up makebite. You're going to want to click the ellipses and choose the folder that you output to with the MQPM tool. In my case, it's this MQPM folder. Once you've highlighted it, hit select folder. Under name, I'm going to enter multi quiet player mod. For version, I'm going to put in 2.1. For author, I'm going to put my name here. And for description, I'm going to put play as quiet. Once you've filled that all out, just hit do it, build archive. Pick somewhere to output it, and for the file name, type in mqpm.mgsv. And just like that, you've built the snakebite file for your multi-quiet player mod outfits. 
The very last thing we need to do is install our Snakebite file with Snakebite and check out the outfits in game. Once you're in game, just select the character that you installed over. If you installed the icon replacer and text replacer, Snake will be replaced with Quiet. If I choose any of the fatigues, we can see Quiet in the Mother Base outfit with the blonde hospital head. If I choose the sneaking suit, we have Quiet in the sniper wolf outfit with the default head. That's all for this video, I hope it helped, and I will see you guys in another video.